Next, we'll be talking about the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! Extra Deck Summoning Mechanic, the Fusion Summon. A Fusion Monster is a dark purple monster. It has all the same features of any other main deck monster, except that it is kept in your extra deck. In the effect box on a Fusion Monster, it will list the Fusion Material for the Fusion Monster. In this case, Gaia the Dragon Champion. Its Fusion Material is Gaia the Fierce Knight and Curse of Dragon. Now, this is a very old Fusion Monster and does not have an effect. So this is a Fusion non-effect monster. It is not a normal monster. Its fusion materials are the specifically named monsters Gaia the Fierce Knight and Curse of Dragon. In order to perform a fusion summon, you must have access to the fusion material as well as the extra deck monster in your extra deck. The first ever fusion summons were conducted using the spell card Polymerization. The effect of Polymerization is to fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or your field as fusion material. Most fusion monsters are summoned by the effect of some sort of card. The summon of most fusion monsters is not considered a special summon in the sense that you cannot solemn strike the summon of a monster summoned by a fusion summon usually because they are summoned by a card effect rather than a game mechanic summon. Whereas an summon, a link summon, a synchro summon, and a pendulum summon are all game mechanic summons and can all be solemn striked. So you can't solemn strike a monster being summoned by polymerization. One of the other unique things regarding the extra deck mechanic of fusion summoning is that you can actually fusion summon using face down monsters. You cannot perform a link summon using face down monsters. You cannot perform a Synchro Summon using Face Down Monsters, and you cannot perform an Exe Summon using Face Down Monsters. So that is one of the biggest benefits going for the Fusion mechanic. So if you have all of the correct cards available, such as Gaia the Dragon Champion in our extra deck, Gaia the Fierce Knight can be located either on our field or in our hand, as well as Curse of Dragon. We can activate Polymerization to the field. We can then send the appropriate Fusion Material to the graveyard, and then Special Summon the extra deck monster in any main monster zone or extra monster zone in either attack or defense position. Once the spell card has successfully resolved, it will then go to the graveyard. And you cannot activate Solemn Strike on this card because its summon was already successful when the spell card resolved. So you can't Solemn Strike the special summon of a fusion monster by an effect. You can Solemn Strike the effect if it was the effect of a monster, but you cannot Solemn Strike a spell. Now, the fusion mechanic in Yu-Gi-Oh! is actually an incredibly horrible mechanic, as it requires way too many cards to do anything. You need to have access to all the materials as well as the card that's used to summon the monster. A few monsters have been made to help the fusion mechanic be a little bit less useless. This is one of the first ones. This is XYZ Dragon Cannon. It requires three materials, which are X Head Cannon, Y Dragon Head, and Z Metal Tank. This card can be summoned from your extra deck by banishing the above materials that you control. To control a card means to have it on your field. It also specifically says that you do not use polymerization. So if we have the three materials on the field, we can simply banish them, put them all into the banish zone, and then special summon the fusion monster. Now because this fusion monster is summoned without using a spell card, its ability to be summoned is sort of a game mechanic summon. We call this a contact fusion. This can be solemn striked because this is the summon of a monster rather than the summon as a result of a spell effect or a monster effect. Now, there have been a lot of things done throughout the years to try and make a fusion summon less of a terrible play. Uh, for instance, we have here the fusion monster Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Its fusion material requires two Thunder Dragons. So this particular monster kind of mitigates the costs of a fusion summon by the main deck monster Thunder Dragon having the ability to discard itself in order to add two Thunder Dragons from your deck to your hand or up to two Thunder Dragons, allowing you to use one of them to actually get the full fusion material requirement for the card. So over time, a lot of things like this had to be done to make the fusion mechanic something worth using. Additionally, all kinds of new spells have been made to make the fusion summoning easier or better, such as Power Bond, which will actually double the attack of a monster used to fusion summon. So if you fusion summon a machine monster using Power Bond, its attack is doubled, but you take the damage of the monster's attack during the end phase. So this card doesn't actually mitigate any of the problems involved with performing a fusion summon, although it does make the investment more worth it. The fusion monster five-headed dragon also improved upon prior fusion monsters by requiring five dragon monsters, not five specifically named monsters. So over time, fusion monsters have become more generic, making them easier to use, and additional fusion spells have been made to make summoning the monsters less costly, such as the spell card Dragon's Mirror, which allows you to perform a fusion summon of a Dragon-type fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing the fusion materials listed on it from your field or your graveyard. In other words, you don't need to keep access to five cards in your hand in order to perform a fusion summon of five-headed dragon. Nowadays, fusion materials for monsters have become very generic. El Shadal Construct requires any Shadal monster and any light monster. That's pretty generic. There are El Shadal monsters for all attributes and any Shadal monster. They even also have their own in-archetype fusion spell, Shadal Fusion, which allows you to fuse using materials from your deck instead of from your hand and your field. So 
additional effects continue to be made to mitigate the cost of a fusion summon because of how difficult they are to do and how costly they are. Often there are completely random monsters that are found in the extra deck that happen to be fusion monsters, but are summoned using forms of contact fusion to make them worth playing, such as Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, which can be summoned by sending monsters on the field to the graveyard, including a Cyber Dragon and machines from both players' fields. So this card's useful for removing your opponent's cards from the field. The fusion monster Thunder Dragon Colossus can be summoned by tributing a Thunder Effect non-fusion monster from your field during the turn that you activated a Thunder monster in hand, making this one of the easiest fusion monsters to summon in the game. So the fusion mechanic at its core principle requires a spell card, the fusion materials, as well as the fusion monster, and has a heavy cost to summon a monster. So many other variations are printed on cards to mitigate those problems. In the next episode, we will talk about the Ritual Summon, which is actually a monster that is summoned from your main deck instead of your extra deck.